So we successfully built uh, Android Lollipop with uh, Android Open Source Project. But I want to take a look at how do we build a uh, different custom ROM. So let's give building Swim ROM a try. Uh, Swim ROMs is one of my uh, old favorites. If we bring up our terminal and we type uh, df-h for human readable, we'll see we're only using 31% of, uh, of our hard drive space. So we have plenty of space left for building another custom ROM. So let's make, their, make a directory, swim ROM lollipop. Now let's go ahead and change, uh, change directory and get in there so we can start working. As you can see here, it's popped right up in our uh, home directory, right where we created it. So how do we build different ROMs? Well, let's, uh, let's go to GitHub and let's look for the Swim ROM manifest. So whenever you're trying to build a custom ROM, typically you'll find on a place like GitHub or GitLab, some form of platform manifest or manifest file. And that manifest file is that same thing we downloaded for AOSP with that repo, uh, repo and repo in it, repo sync command. But here we have uh, a one for, for SlimRom. So you can see the SlimRom's uh, um, GitHub repositories here and, and right there at the top is that platform manifest. And typically this would be the same for every custom ROM that you want to build. And when you click on that platform manifest, you should see um, different branches and uh, we're of course going to be building a uh, lollipop again so we're looking for 5.1 and when you go to the proper branch you should see in the readme file that's being displayed on the on the screen there is some form of instruction usually fairly straightforward and usually very similar to what we just did with AOSP. And I want to look at that for this purpose so you can see um, that building a custom ROM really isn't any different than building regular Android. Um, it just depends on how they set up their, uh, their commands here. So sometimes though you will see that there are other files you need. So we're going to highlight this repo in it. And we'll just middle click here to paste that into our terminal. We'll hit enter and let that initialize. And again, sometimes there will be other instructions on what you need to be able to build their ROMs. They may have some custom um, tools that are required. So let's go ahead and repo sync and we'll talk about this for a second once we get this going. Okay. So like I said, sometimes they'll have some custom tools that you need, um, you know, some more um, programs that you'll have to install or download uh, to complete the building process. But usually that's listed right here on their, uh, on their readme. Uh, typically, if you notice as the repo Think is running here in the background, a lot of the material actually comes from the Android open source project itself. So typically they don't rewrite the whole kit and caboodle, they just uh, rewrite certain portions of it and then they integrate that with the Android open source project. You can also see in the instructions uh, a note here about uh, QCOM or Qualcomm powered devices that need the code Aurora forum. Uh, um, CAF versions and CAF versions uh, is just where um, the device uh, kernel and drivers have um, been advanced beyond where normal Android is. A little bit difficult to explain, but essentially, um, for main the mainstead of uh, Android, um, when they start building, they take a snapshot at a certain time of what the um, how the devices should work and how the kernels work for the device you're downloading. And uh, Code Aurora Forum is where they continue to work on those Qualcomm devices. They're continuing to update the kernel, continuing to update the drivers, and 
and uh, that may change the way some of the symbols uh, from that kernel work, or it may change the way some of the uh, drivers work and interface with Android. And so they need um, different files in your Android build to make those function properly. And a lot of times that code or forum uh, material is the latest and greatest. It's usually cutting edge and, and very good material. Um, but with that, you sometimes have to get, download different material to work with.